What's good, YouTube? I ain't been on this bitch in a minute, so let me hop right back into it. Um, my grams passed away, so she left. She left me the house, and um, you know, bills are bills are crazy now, man. Bills are re ridiculous. So, water bill, property, the house is paid off, but property tax, um, you know, school tax. I got a lot of shit I got on my plate now, you know, so my hustling has went up, you know, a thousandfold. But that don't mean I don't still love the boxing though, you know. So, um, yeah, man. Let's let's jump right into it. Birdo and Lamont, man. Fuck is up with these niggas, man. These niggas is stupid. Yo, listen, listen. My thing is this. They always talk about, well, my this guy, my trainer gave it to me. He told me to take it, or my doctor told me to take it, you know. Listen, I'm a black man. They're black men, so they should understand, okay. Um, if somebody gives you something, a pill, whatever the hell it is, and he says, take this pill, you're, you're supposed to say, well, what the hell is this, right? You don't just be like, all right, this is ecstasy, pop that real quick. You know what I mean? They can get you. They can give you anything. You see what I'm saying? So don't just be don't just be on some shit on some. Well, he gave it to me, so I had to take it. I ain't. What, what Smokey say? What Smokey say? Um, I ain't put that joint to your mouth and make you smoke it. Real talk. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Step step your game up, man. So these two niggas, they really really baffle me sometimes, man. They really bother me now. With this whole, you know, getting caught situation. Not saying now, and now it jeopardizes all the fights that they have been in. For Peterson, it definitely, we all know for a fact, because if you see my response during the Peterson Khan fight, I say right then and there that, you know, Peterson is ready to take damage. You know, Khan's not ready to take damage. I said that because, well, Peterson knows. He's ready to take damage because he knows that he's a little, he's on that, on that shit, you know. Look at the Cotto Margarito fight, the first one. Co uh, Margarito is ready to take damage. So it, may, it makes it seem right away that he was cheating. No matter what you dish out to me, I know that what I have on the back burner is harder than what you throwing at me. You see what I mean? So look at, no matter what Cotto threw, that's why he was a little, you know, Confused. No matter what Cotto threw in the first fight, Margarito just shook it off and kept on moving forward, you know, um, because he was juicing. So that was the same mentality that that Peterson had also. And, you know, I don't, I don't have no sympathy for cheaters, man. And I said this before and I said this again. Um, you know, if you're, if you're cheating, man, I have no love for you. I don't care who you are. If Floyd Mayweather himself was cheating, he could kick rock straight up. You know what I mean? We don't need that shit in the sport, man. If you fans out there don't care about it, suck a dick. Go choke on a donut. <laughs> Seriously, man. Y'all don't care about the hells. Y'all don't care about the sport. Y'all want to see good fights and good knockouts, but we want to continue seeing fights and knockouts. We don't want somebody to get permanently damaged. You see what I mean? So they can't fight again, regardless of who it is, okay? Um, shout outs to um, the boy um, Punisher. I was really, I was hyped to make to make a prediction about him versus Canelo. Um, shout outs to Paul Williams, man, who was paralyzed from the waist down. Um, I mean, damn, you know, no matter, no matter how bad I would love to see Pacquiao get knocked out, you know, no matter how bad I would like to see Pacquiao lose, because of all the bullshit hype that he has. You know, I'm not just hating on him. But um, I would never wish or pray on Pacquiao to become paralyzed. That's serious, man. And I don't know if you guys really acknowledge that, you know, as a fan. Or if you guys just, you know, well, it wasn't a knockout. You know, some dumb shit like that. So... Bottom line, man, I mean, that's 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 terrible for boxing, you know. Just like in a couple days, the man himself is going to have to sit on some time that, you know, he shouldn't even be in jail for. But, you know, that's it's bad for the sport. So, I mean, what else can we say, man? Um, you know, hopefully he, you know, hopefully he, um, you know, stays true with the Lord, stays true with himself and continues, you know. It's better, paralyzed is better than being dead. Okay, let's be real about it. It's better than being dead. So, 
Um, shout out to Paul. Um, you beat you beat Martinez the first time. Martinez knocked you out the second time. Um, you were something to reckon with. You know, we can't argue that you wouldn't move up and wait. Because if you're set at that weight, you're set at that weight. Floyd tried to move up, and you saw what happened to him. He had all types of trouble. Roy Jones Jr. tried to move up. He had a little bit of trouble. Came back down and realized his real trouble was in his own weight division. So, you know, I don't knock it at all that, you know, um, that the Punisher only went out the way he did, man. I mean, it sucks the way he, that he did go out, but, you know. I mean, you know, that's that's the way to dice sometimes, man. That sucks. I really want to make that prediction versus for him and um, Alvarez. Now Alvarez is fighting Kirkland. I mean, you know, come on. We want. I want to see the other one. I'm not. I don't really care about that. I'm not that hype anymore. Um, shout outs to. I want to say shout outs to Bradley's pops. This nigga's a real ass nigga. I wasn't gonna watch the. Um, I wasn't gonna watch the twenty four seven. But I want to see what Bradley was getting to, was getting into. I already know Pacquiao style. All he does is hit the mats all day, um, the mitts all day. Um, all they do is talk about his poor people in the world. They don't never show Pacquiao giving back to the community. They don't never show that shit. Um, They'll never show him. They showed him sparring before um, against Amir Khan. He was getting his ass whooped. They showed him sparring against who? Who else? Some seventeen-year-old getting his ass whooped there too. So. Oh, excuse me. Nothing great to show about Pacquiao. So I want to see what Bradley had to say. And what you know, what he did. Excuse me. What he did on his off time and things like that. So his pops is a real ass nigga, though. Straight up, his pops is real. And realize how all of the fathers have to really push their kids to the limit to become great. And all the people, all the dumbass folks, will say, "Oh, you're pushing them too hard. You know, you're being so hard on them. You know." Um, I think Tiger Woods is the only one who didn't really have a very strict father. Even though he made Tiger practice every day, his his father wasn't very as disciplined as the others. Like, like for instance, um, um, Joe, Joe Jackson. He had five boys he had to take care of. You know, so he had to make sure he pushed them to the limit. You see what I mean? Um, the Serena Williams. Their father was very, very strict. We all know this. Very strict. But you see how they made out, right? Both of the sisters are motherfucking superstars. And rich than a motherfucker, you know? Um, who else? Who else? Floyd Mayweather himself. He has said numerous amounts of times, my dad was very rough on me, very hard. He would smack me in public sometimes. You know, he would, he would tell him how bad his father was growing up, but it just showed how hard you have to push to really live the, the life of a dream. You see what I'm saying? To have your life, you wake up every day as your life is a dream. You see what I mean? So, I salute all the fathers that done that. And Bradley's father is the same way. I take nothing from this dude. He told him before. <laughs> you heard Bradley. If you guys saw it, man, go watch it. I know a lot of people are like, fuck 24-7 with them niggas. You know, I was the same way. But like I said, I wanted to see what Bradley was about. So, um... He said they didn't have a medicine ball back in the day. So what they did was they went out and his father ended up getting a rock <laughs> to hit him in the chest with, you know, um, instead of a medicine ball. So he was like a rock, nigga. <laughs> when he's pushing that big-ass tire, he got his father on the tire, you know what I mean? Some illmatic training, you know. So um, they always he, he brags a lot about his, his training being second to none. Nobody's better in training. We all know Floyd pushes to the limit, you see what I mean? So... You know, it'd be remarkable. I would love to see. No bullshit, man. And I'm still patient. Because I heard a lot of people drift away from the fight. But I still want to see a Bradley Amir Khan fight. Am I the only one who still wants to see that shit? Everybody else is like, oh, that shit is out the window. Nobody cares no more. Let me know, you know. So I can start, you know, thinking like, hey, if they did fight, it'd be a... Because both of them, will be a good fight if they both fought, you know. Um... I mean, that's about it right now. I'm about to go get this Dutch. I'll come back and drop another video. I was just trying to touch up on things that I've been out on for a minute because of, you know, my whole my whole tragedy recently. So, um, yeah, man, that's about it. Let me go get this Dutch. I'll come back, ran some more. There was um, a couple topics I wanted to talk about. Um, I was just watching BK Warriors video about the greatest of all time. I should upload my... Um, 
my show off video to his so then he can he understands or he understands so he knows you know I believe the same thing that Floyd is the greatest of all time everything's a 10 on the Richter scale you know but um I mean you know God love this sport man I love this sport oh another thing I was tight at was man I was I was preaching for a minute and it was I went to the Mayweather fight on um in the movies and they even had like the um the previews up there for the Adrian Broner fight so I'm thinking for a minute like okay the Floyd fight was on the 5th the 19th we get hit with the Broner and then the ninth fight you got the you know you got those two fighting Pacquiao and Bradley so you know I was hyped on the 19th I was like today's the 19th you know and then I'm looking I'm like so where the fuck is he you know so I had to go to Wikipedia and find out what the fuck is going on and every time you make a fight on Wikipedia they um they put up your future fight coming up you know and it shows that he's not fighting until July 21st which is bullshit but it is what it is man so we just gotta we just gotta wait our time out now so you know but um shout out shout outs to um shout outs to my subscribers shout outs to the people I'm subscribed to I'm back in this bitch um, I heard Amir Khan today wants to fight Pacquiao and Bradley. I think he'll beat or Pacquiao and Mayweather. I think he'll beat Pacquiao. He was sparring with him. And go check it out. You know, you can say I'm lying all, all, all you want. Go check out the go check out the sparring match between Pacquiao and Amir Khan. And you'll see Amir Khan actually giving leeway, being lenient to Pacquiao because every five seconds Pacquiao has to fix his gear on his head or fix his trunks and we all know that you know you don't need to fix your trunks that much you just are getting hit you know an abundance of times so it's like hey let me fix my let me fix my gear so maybe he'll back up a little bit you know so I believe Pacquiao's gonna get his ass whoop on the knife I believe that after that they're gonna I believe once Pacquiao loses, I think his fan base, honestly, it's weird to say, I think his fan base, <clears throat> not the Pactars, but the fans who are like, hey, you'll get him next time, I think they will still ride with Pacquiao. You know, I don't think they'll leave right away. Um, I think the fan base for, I think Bob Arum is going to put all his eggs in the Bradley and he's going to keep him away from dangerous fights. Um, he's not going to put him in, I don't think he will. I don't think he'll put him in there with Khan as much as I want to see that fight. You know, um, Bradley versus Zab Judah, eh, you know, I pretty much gave up on Zab once he did that fluke, you know, but yeah, man, like I said, I want to run forever. Keep it going, fellas. I'll be back soon. I'm going to get this, this, this right now. Y'all know me. Keep it 100. All right, I'm out this bitch.